There are some homeowners, designers, and architects who know how to maximize small spaces and make things seem much larger. Today, we'll be taking a look at the 15 most skinny houses and homes. Number 15, the Carrot House. Whoever lives in the Carrot House can tell all of their friends that they live in the narrowest house in Poland. Tucked very, very snugly between two buildings, this seemingly impossible architectural feat is the work of local architect Jakub Szczesny, who first presented his skinny idea during an art festival in 2009. Cut to 2012 and his vision became a reality, even garnering some international attention. And while this technically may be a residence, it's more of an art installation, if anything else, with the widest point measuring just four feet across. And while the home may be rail thin, people will tell you that because space builds upwards in the carrot house, it may not be as claustrophobic as you'd think, especially with all of the natural light that it gets. This little plot of land, if you can even call it that, measures just three feet across at its narrowest point, making it for one strange piece of real estate that most people would simply overlook. But despite the sheer lack of space, the carrot house is fully functional and ready to be lived in. Just don't expect to have any dinner parties there anytime soon. Number 14, New York City Dumpster Home. Just about every New Yorker has a love-hate relationship with this city that never sleeps. You can get just about any kind of cuisine at any hour of the day. The subway will get you wherever you need to go, and you'll never know which celebrity you might spot on the street when you go outside for a quart of milk. But all of that charm comes at a price, because the city is kind of a dump. And one California architect took that idea and ran with it when they made a dumpster house in Brooklyn. What was once a massive steel trash receptacle is now where Gregory Cloan hangs his hat whenever he's in New York. And while he doesn't live there permanently, he took the time to convert the dumpster into an abode, complete with a bed, tiny kitchen, and even a hidden toilet. The entire project cost him just $4,000, which is most Manhattanites' monthly rent. The only catch is his home away from home is six by six feet. He gets his water from a six-gallon rain collection tank and takes his showers right outside, and the dumpster house even has a retractable roof. And if he doesn't like his neighbors, that's okay, because the entire structure is on wheels, so he can take it just about anywhere. The only thing Cloan hasn't done in this dumpster house is stayed through a New York winter. Best to fly south through the winter, I guess. Number 13, 75 and a half Bedford Street. As we said earlier, New York City real estate is absolutely insane, and this next skinny home on the list is the poster child of that idea. Not to be confused with Platform 9 and 3 quarters, 75 and a half Bedford Street has the prestigious title of the skinniest house in New York. And just like the city itself, this home is old and it's history rich. This thin home is in the West Village of Manhattan and had been there since 1873, back in the days of cobblestone streets and horse and buggies. The home was built in what was originally an alleyway for the delivery carts, and despite the lack of space, some really famous New Yorkers have hung their hat here and called the building on Bedford Street home. Hollywood royalty like Cary Grant and John Barrymore have stayed here, and even the famous playwright Edna St. Vincent Malley penned some works right within these tight walls. What could possibly be so appealing about 75 and a half Bedford Street? Perhaps now it's history, and maybe back then it was kitschy. It's tough to say, but as of 2021, the house has been totally remodeled and put on the market for a nasty $5 million. This house may be skinny, but if you want to live there, then your wallet had better be fat. Number 12, the Promenade House. Despite negative population growth, Japan doesn't offer urbanites much space. People are living on top of each other with little elbow room. It's not uncommon to find even cemeteries on the roof of a building but designers are finding fun new ways to at least brighten up people's teeny tiny homes. And the Japanese architect Koichi Kimura rose to the challenge to create the Promenade House. Found in the Shiga Prefecture, the Promenade House is about 13 meters wide and about 35 meters deep, so you have enough room to stretch out a bit, but you won't be doing your exercise here anytime soon. The interior is incredibly pretty and modern, with long hallways connecting each room, and there's the contrast of the first floor's white walls with the second's green walls. But to make things a little less claustrophobic, the Promenade House has incredibly high ceilings, because when you have something this narrow, every little detail needs to be well thought out and deliberate. Number 11, Seven Footer on Peel Street. The year, 1930. The place, Peel Street in London, between Kensington and Notting Hill. Two neighboring homes had just under seven feet of space between them, and rather than leaving it be and letting the owners enjoy a little extra elbow room, 
someone went ahead and filled it with another home. With two bedrooms and one bathroom across 520 square feet of space, this home on Peel Street stretches to just seven feet and three inches across at its widest point. So if you're as tall as an NBA player in here, make sure to lay down vertically. And despite its size, it may be a little too small to stick out like a sore thumb, maybe a sore pinky. It still gets plenty of light, has a fireplace and its own terrace, and managed to sell three times within two decades. So no one is writing off this skinny house on Peel Street just yet. But if you're living there and want just a little extra space, planning permission has been given to build a skinny little basement. Number 10. The Spite House Larry David may have built a spite store, but he stole that idea from John Hollinsbury, who built a spite house nearly 200 years ago. Hollinsbury owned a home in Alexandria, Virginia in 1830, but much like the previous home on Peel Street, there was a nice gap between him and his neighbor. But the sound of wagons and ne'er-do-wells chatting up a storm kept him up all night and even drove him crazy during the day. So how did he manage to keep everyone out of there? Well, he went ahead and built the Spite House on 532 Queen Street. So today, Alexandria's Spite House is painted a nice bright blue and comes in just under seven feet wide. And it's become so famous that it's a regular stop on many Alexandria tours. And the Spite House even has its own Christmas ornament. Sometimes the best revenge is just being successful. And while Hollinsbury was able to get those horse carriages and such out of the alley, the only thing he had to worry about now was loud neighbors. Might not always be right, but maybe in this case, spite is right. Number 9. Sculpted Home The next skinny home is perhaps one of the most unorthodox we've seen so far. The Sculpted Home in Antwerp, Belgium is perhaps a few steps up from New York City's dumpster home, because what it really is are three shipping containers stacked on top of one another. And this home is a voyeur's paradise, because, well, as you can see, the front facade is made of floor-to-ceiling windows. So while the folks inside are treated to some amazing natural light, they're also living inside the world's largest fish tank. The sculpted home is only eight feet wide and serves both as a home and studio to the occupants. It really is an extraordinarily clever idea, with each level serving a distinct purpose. Working your way up, the sculpted home has an office or a workroom, the kitchen and dining area, and then the top floor is the bedroom. And don't forget about that roof deck. But things get really funky when the lights come on at night, as each level has its own distinct color. Yellow, green, red, and violet. Looks like someone was paying attention in art class. Number 8. La Casa Estrecha The city of Old San Juan in Puerto Rico is one of the most beautiful cities on the planet. The cobblestone streets, the blue skies, the food, and of course the architecture, with every home painted a different color of the rainbow. But there's one home doing its best to hide amongst the eye-catching color, La Casa Estrecha. Translating essentially to the narrow house, La Casa Estrecha is sandwiched between two normal-sized homes and is two stories tall and measures at just five feet three inches wide. Just about any adult can stand in the middle of a room, spread their arms, and touch both walls at once. So what exactly is going on in here? Well, it turns out that this skinny home also stands on the spot of a former alley before an architect had their way with the empty space. Now the home is a stop on many tours, but despite being just a showstopper from the outside and the seeming lack of space, it's fully functional on the inside. It's got everything you need like a bedroom, kitchen and dining room, bathroom and even a living room. The only real catch here is if you're willing to put up with it is that the bathroom isn't large enough to fit a separate shower, meaning the entire bathroom floor is also the floor of the shower. Number seven, The Gap House. Don't be fooled by the name because there are no clothes for sale at The Gap House in London. Located in the Bayswater area of the city, the Gap House is just eight feet wide, but perhaps makes up for the lack of width with its height because it's four stories tall. Painted the same white as the neighbors' homes, if you didn't know this was here, then you may just walk right past it, which would be a shame because it's actually pretty cool. The skinny Gap House was built in the 1950s in the empty space between the adjacent homes when architect Luke Tazer found out his wife was pregnant. They wanted a little extra space for the new member of the family, and this eight-foot wide chunk of land fit the bill. While the Gap House is 70 years old, it's been completely modernized and offers all sorts of eco-friendly features like rainwater harvesting system, automated skylights, energy efficient glazing, rock wool insulation, and ground source heat pump. And believe it or not, this skinny house in London sold in 2018 for close to one and a half million dollars. Number six, 44 Hull Street. 
may be the largest of the skinny homes we've seen so far. The house at 44 Hull Street in Boston's North End is the biggest of the smallest, measuring a little over 10 feet at its widest point. And according to some local history, or perhaps even legends, 44 Hull Street is in fact another spite house. The story says that when a soldier returned home from war during the 1800s, he came home only to find that his brother had built a house for himself on the majority of the land that they had inherited from their father. Fighting in a war and now this? So like any vengeful brother would do, the new veteran went ahead and built his three-story home to block out all of his brother's views and sunlight. But now the home is still occupied, albeit by more modern folk who enjoy 1,100 square feet of this home with two bedrooms and one bathroom, and space where the house tapers off to just six feet across. The home's original owner, the spiteful soldier, is buried in the cemetery across the street to make sure the spirit of his brother doesn't get any natural light in his bedroom. Number 5. Aude Holkstraat, 22 Amsterdam is known for having some pretty narrow houses, but one of them has to be the narrowest of them all. The home at Oude Hoogstraat 22 is right in the old city center of Amsterdam near the famous Walloon Church, and the history of this home goes far back to the 1500s when it was part of a monastery. But a portion of the monastery was sold in the mid-16th century and began changing ownership over the years, even becoming a warehouse for the Dutch East India Company at one point. But all good things must come to an end, and the building was demolished about a hundred years later to make way for a new building. But there was still 110 square feet of empty space left over. So what better than building the smallest house in all of Europe here? Oude Hoogstra 22 was first mentioned in the city archives in the mid-18th century, when it was home to a local watchmaker. Living between walls that are just six and a half feet wide and 16 feet deep, People even lived in this skinny home all the way until 2014 when it was sold and became the world's smallest tea shop. Oude Hoogstraat 22 is a staple of the city, so much so that it's even registered as a national heritage site. Number 4. Kleine Trippenhaus Since we're already in Amsterdam, why not stay for a while and visit the Kleine Trippenhaus? This house is just 8 feet wide and is another skinny old house with roots going back to 1669. This house has a handful of origin stories, with one in particular being the most interesting. The home is located right across the street from the Trippenhaus mansion, home of the Tripp family. Apparently, the family's coachman commented on how much he loved their home and he would be happy if his abode were just the size of their front door. Well, the Tripps, being such generous people, obliged him, building exactly what he asked for. It's a silly story and actually not true. It turns out that the Kleine Trippenhaus was used as the Tripp family's horse stables before serving as a residence after they died. And while the first floor of this mythical home houses a skinny shop, the top two floors are very much occupied. Number 3. Lucky Drops Another skinny house living in the oh-so-crowded country of Japan is lovingly referred to as Lucky Drops. And despite its small stature, the Lucky Drops is able to stand out amongst the rest of the homes in the neighborhood because of its trapezoid shape and sharp angled roof. The base of the home is just 10 meters across and less than 33 meters deep, so while it's incredibly narrow, it's also very long, which does allow it to feel much more open than some other skinny homes we've seen. And the best part here is that the home gets tons of natural light because of the translucent walls, which is also a byproduct of its clever design, meant to look like a paper lantern. And seeing how it builds upwards, Japan's Lucky Drops has three stories, with the kitchen and bathroom on the ground level, the living room in the middle, and of course the bedroom at the top. Japan is often known stylistically for its minimalism, and Lucky Drops really managed to take that to a whole new level. Number 2. Toshima House In 2012, while many people thought the world was coming to an end, the architectural firm Yua Architects & Associates had wrapped up construction on their latest and greatest endeavor, the Toshima House. Sandwiched tightly between the neighboring homes in Tokyo, the Toshima House is only 6 feet wide but offers 860 feet of living space. It's pretty big for such a skinny home. This contemporary glass monolith gets some amazing sunlight and looks a bit more like a new home you'd see popping up in U.S. cities, but still manages to capture that Tokyo feel. The Toshima house is four stories tall, with each floor serving its own purpose. The bedroom and the living room are all the way in the back of the home, meaning despite a seeming lack of space, there's still plenty of privacy to be had. And there's even an underground basement here. It may be six feet wide, but you definitely won't feel the squeeze when you're here. Number 1. The Wedge 
Truly living up to its name, the Wedge is a skinny home wedged perfectly between its neighbors. But how skinny is it? Well, the skinniest section is the front, measuring at just 47 inches wide. The Wedge can be found in Millport Isle of Cumbrae in Scotland, and went on the market for a mere 85,000 pounds. And luckily for the folks living inside, the home gets wider as you move towards the rear. But don't expect too much space, because it's 11 feet across at its widest point. Think about it like a slice of pizza. But this is the type of house where if you didn't know about it, you would walk right past it, not even noticing this Guinness World Record holding home. But the Wedge is far less modern than some of the other fancy skinny homes we've seen on this list, and it's definitely due for a renovation. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.